show you how to make a bite trace using nylon coated wire. First of all we need a hook, basically a circle hook, nylon coated wire and the easiest way to use nylon coated wire is to snell it on a circle hook. Again all we're going to do is basically tie above the hook so we're going to go over once twice only with wire twice only with wire making a figure of eight there's the figure of eight for me and I'm lightly pulling it until it gets tight once I've slid it to where I want it to be I'm now going to actually pull it tight pull tight measure out the length that I want it to be try and cut them with something decent take the tag in and go through the eye of the hook now only and cut off that little tag piece there and there's basically the wire tied on simple as that not difficult to tie wire at all to join the nylon to the wire what we're going to do is a figure of eight take the nylon first and wrap it around your finger three times forming a figure of eight one two three on off back through there's my figure of eight and you just lightly pull it you then change over and do exactly the same with the wire except you go twice around your finger only once twice pull it back through there's the figure of eight forming nicely lubricate both sides take the nylon and slide the nylon down to where the knots are and now it's a matter of pulling the wire tight once the wire is tight, you can take the nylon and you lightly pull on it until it's gone tight and just cut off both tag ends. There is the knot complete. I'm going to make it about 60 centimeters in length this trace just to give more movement in the water cut it off over there. We're then going to take a swivel and attach it. Again forming a figure of eight. One, two, three times with the nylon, back through the, the loop, open it up, pull tight, and slide it down. Cut off the tag end over there. Take another piece of nylon for your sinker snooting. Go through, wrap it around three times once again. Slide it down, pull both of them tight, cut off the tag end. Now we're just going to measure out how long we want this to actually be. And that is perfect. I'm going to grab a sinker clip, attach the sinker clip to my line. Just remove it down a little bit. Slide down. Cut. Grab your sinker. Measure out the length just to make sure everything is the right length. And there it is there. I'm happy with that. Okay. We We've got the new Kingfisher sinker clips, the new unique to the Kingfisher. 
These clips are designed in such a way that your cotton does not get caught around your actual clip. I'll just show you quickly what I'm talking about. There's your dangle, and of course you've got your bait on. It's got a lot of cotton wrapped around it. Take your dangle, attach it to your sinker clip. Now what happens is, this area here, there is no cotton that can get caught around your loop area, if I can call it that. So when you're throwing it, that part over there does not come in contact at all with your knot. So any cotton or excess cotton that might be on your dangle does not get caught around your sinker clip. So every time it hits the water, it will come loose. I've seen it too many times where people have thrown big baits out. Half an hour later, they wind it in and the bait is actually caught around their sinker clip. So that there, guys, is basically the bite trace that I would use if I was fishing for grey sharks on the north coast or in the towel.